Everybody and welcome to my first ever recorded essay. No, I'm, I'm lying, not the first ever. Welcome to the first essay DOL version 3 PS4 community, where now it's not only for NPCs, but anyone is welcome to join and feel free to refer to the description to do so. Uh, hold on one second. Jelly 88 clear. 10 for show you in service. Anyways, like I was saying. Uh, we're going to be doing the LSPD patrol with an unmarked unit. We are the supervisor, as obviously stated. Those are some very obvious lights right there. The AOP today is going to be Richmond and Vinewood, the northern bit of the map. So this will be great for uh, some tight maneuvers, some tight turns, and also I'm expecting some 1050s, not going to lie. Uh, but I'm not preaching that. So with that being said, let's get started with the patrol. Oh, and I should apologize if it's hard to hear the Discord chat. I'm still trying to configure a setup right now. In this place, I just haven't had time to do it with all this corona shit going on, so my setup is like the least important of my worries right now, but we'll figure it out, and hopefully one of these days I'll get it perfect. Uh, but for now, uh, it's gonna be kinda hard to hear, so I do apologize. So. King 5 Control, I'll be 1076 at Lake Vine was an individual shooting flares by one of the cul-de-sacs, stand by. It's gonna be off the bridge. Stand by in 32s. King 5 Control, I'll be in contact with a person at the bridge, stand by. Requesting one ten thirty two to the bridge overlooking the center lake in northern Vinewood. Code two, please. Potential ten seventeen be advised. Hello, sir. How are you doing today? Uh, I, I was just driving by earlier and I saw some flares being shot over Lake Vinewood. Do you have any uh, idea about that? No. Uh, cause flares are usually meant to signal hello hel helicopters and there's no place to land them around here. Do you- so you have no idea what's been going on? No. Have you seen them yourself? Yes, I saw them get shot over that way. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they can't be doing that around here. There's nowhere to, uh, signal a helicopter. If you don't mind, just lead me to where they originated from. That'd be great. Alright. They're this way? Oh, okay. I saw him, uh, shoot, like, like, from that way, so over here. Yeah, because I was over there driving, and I saw them shooting from this way down here. It, came, it looked like it came from your direction, but, I mean, you would have seen them because you're closer. Alright. So you say they came from that direction? Because I'm pretty certain they came from this way. Alright, I might have lied. I might have had the flare gun. Alright, what are you doing shooting that off? Why are you lying to me as well? Reason. Hey sir, could you do me a favor? Could you just stop real quick for me? You're not, you're not, you're not in trouble right now. I'm just gonna ask you a question. If you don't mind stopping for me. Don't stop. stay right there. Stay right there. I'll jump. Okay, we don't want that to happen. Stay calm with me. All right, just hang on for one second. All right, I'm gonna try to get someone else to help. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, King Five, priority. Be advised, uh, we have a potential suicide jumper at the Vinewood Bridge. I'm resp I would request about two 1032s in my location, code three, please. It's going to be a white Caucasian male in a black scuba suit. He says he's going to jump. He was firing flares earlier. It's going to be the northern lake of Vinewood. Ten four. One train eighty eight is ten twenty three as well. Ten four. Alright, sir, if you could just do me a favor, please stay right there. We're not gonna approach you, just just stay right there, alright? Alright, so I was driving down uh, Mount Vinewood down there, and I saw some flares, so I came over to where they came from, and it turns out this is the person who fired them. He lied earlier saying that he didn't fire them, and then he showed me the flare gun on me. Uh, I was gonna tell him to stop, I did tell him to stop, and he kept walking, then he said he was gonna jump, which he would not survive at this height. So... At this point, this is just a big priority, and he's about to jump off if we don't do something, so we want to get him out of here peacefully. 
Uh, I don't know how long he's been here. Again, he lied about the flares. He's the one shooting them down. There's no helicopters landing, so I don't know what that's all about. So, I just want you guys to get a perimeter. Make sure that if he does jump, uh, just make sure that we have fire on call. So if someone could radio into the fire department, get down here. Alright, sir, can you hear me? Yes. Alright, so you told me you're gonna jump if we approach, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, why would you jump? Uh, I don't know. Alright, do you have an inclination to jump? Is there something going on in life that you want to talk about? Or you just want to jump because you want to get out of trouble? just want to jump. Alright, sir. Well, here's the thing, right? We don't want you to jump. We want everyone to get out here peacefully. And if we have to back up, we will as long as you come down this way. Uh, I don't appreciate you lying to me earlier. Uh, but right now, your safety is the number one priority. Uh, don't aim that thing at me, I swear. Alright? So what's it going to take for you to come down here without jumping? Get in your car and drive away. Okay, we can do that to a degree, but I but you need to hold up your promise, and you're gonna come out this way. All right, you're not gonna jump. All right, all right, all right. I'm walking back to my cruiser, again, holding you to your promise. And please, sir, don't brandish that flare gun on me. I don't, I don't, I do not appreciate that. All right. Just move the police cruisers a little bit, not too much though, keep a close eye on them. Yeah, because you've got police cars in the way. You can't see my cruiser from here, so I mean... And then we, we're doing what he said, he said for us to drive away, which we did, he's coming back. Uh, no he's not. Alright officers, just go code one, pull down the street, turn off the lights. Okay, he's coming. Alright, he's coming back. We're gonna wait for him to get a safe enough distance and then we'll just go back and put him into detainment. Alright, he's out. He's out. Go for it. He's getting in a vehicle. King 5 is gonna be a 1080 at this point. If someone could signal into RTO, that'd be great. Tenfold got eyes. Tenfold, is that a loss of visual at this time? Tenfold, be code one. Did you happen to get a make and model of that vehicle? Uh, yeah, I was gonna get blocks. <laughs> Tenfold, radio that in to make sure we get a bow on that vehicle. I'll be signal 11 West Belmont, but I would. King 5 Control, be advised, we've got a bolo on a black uh, Cabrio Sentinel, occupied one time, it's going to be uh, wanted for uh, resisting, uh, as well as suspicious activity, so just keep an eye out for that vehicle. It's going to be a black convertible Sentinel. Alright viewers, so this is just me talking to you at this point. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, we basically saw someone with flares, and they were just shooting them, lied to us, just took off, so we met their demands, we went away so that way they would come out, so, so far he is still alive to our knowledge, uh, I'd hope so. Um, he did take off from us, so we are looking for that vehicle right now. Uh, this is a very obvious signal, Evan, I'm very well aware of that. Um, but we are going to just keep an eye, it's going to be a black sentinel. And hopefully my poor eyesight doesn't miss it. Oh, 911, what is your emergency? Hey, uh, uh, I'm sorry, but can you help me? Okay, ma'am, uh, where, what do you need help with? Uh, there is some man back in my garden. He's sneaking around. Oh. What's going on? You do not know this man, correct? Is this man affiliated with you in any way? No, I don't know him. He's okay. Just wandering around my garden. Could you tell me uh, specifically where the, the garden would be? It's behind my house. There is a pool. He's running uh, around. I think he's trying to find something. You have to be a little bit more specific with that location, man. There's a lot of houses with pools. Uh, yeah. Uh, the pool is... Uh, it's 632. 632. Alright, ma'am. We're gonna have some officers down there, and the case just stay inside, make sure the doors are locked, and uh, when an officer comes out, uh, then you can come out and talk to us, alright? Okay, hurry up. Be advised, we, we have a female in distress. It's going to be a possible home invasion, uh, as well as a 1017 
Uh, it's gonna be postcode six two three standby. I'll be ten ninety seven code two. Ten four standby. I'm gonna be responding to a home invasion call, so I'll be uh, off. Go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna be on location of the south side. Here. I do not see the other officers. Ten four, keep me up there. King, I'm gonna be ten twenty three at six three two postal code. I'll be 10 wanting to stand by. Is there anyone here? Hello? Is there anyone here? I'm gonna check around the back. This is 632, so there should be someone here. Is there anyone here? Sir, is there anyone here? You see anybody? No? Is there anyone here? Oh. Oh, what the? Okay. Sir! Hey! Sir, do you belong on this property? Oh. Well, it. It's gonna be Chief Brandon with the Los Santos Police Department. I need you to come out here and talk to me real quick, alright? And you just come out here and talk to me real quick, alright? Just follow me a little bit. Come on. Alright. So here's the deal. I got a call from 911 confirming that there's a suspicious man at postal code 362. That house that you're on is 362 and you aren't really fitting that subject right there. Said there's a man walking around aimlessly around the house. I've been in this area trying to look for someone like that and you're the closest I've found. I'm not convicting you, but I'm just saying it's kind of suspicious you're just walking about here. Awesome. Okay, I got a number one call saying that that was otherwise. You want to run that by me one more time? It must have been the what? Okay, I don't know what you're saying, sir. Uh, before we take this further, I'm going to need some uh, license for me, please. Nope, sir. I need some license. I need some sort of formal identification. Identification? Yes. Okay, yeah. Here you go, sir. Alright, you want to confirm that name? It's David Jones. David Jones, common spelling, correct. Terry. Terry Jones, alright. Just sit right there. Alright, here's your stuff right back. Uh, just follow me really quickly. I'm just going to see something really quick because I think it says you're registered to an LCC, yeah, an LCC innovation right here. So that registers here. Um, yes, that's is there anyone else who lives in this house with you? All right. So you're telling me that there's uh, no one who could have just called the cops on you because it might just be a false number one call to our degree. Probably the neighbors. Yeah. Uh, do you have names potentially who those neighbors could be? Because misusing 911 is not. Oh. Okay, calm down the language, sir. We don't we don't need to elevate this. Alright, this Lucy character, does she do this shit often? Yeah. She does this often, alright. Do you have her address and also last name as well? She lives nearby. She lives nearby. Do you have any sort of postal code or anything like that? Okay. So there's just a person named Lucy with no last name that's just making up 911 call. Okay, tell you what, we're gonna get a dispatcher to trace that 911 call back, and we will have some officers at that person's house. Um, as for you, we have no reason. I mean, it seems suspicious when you're just running around the house because that fit the description of the 911 call. But everything checks out. You're, you're, you live here. That's your vehicle. You've no priors, so I guess it's just because a neighbor nearby. Right. It just doesn't make, the thing that doesn't make sense to me is, um, someone called 911, seeing that you were running around a house, but if you're telling me they live nearby, you should surely know that she could probably see you. So she should be in one of these houses, I mean, which one do you think it is, because, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm not the most familiar with this area. You don't have any, okay. Well, we'll just have that call traced, and we'll have officers down there. Uh, as for you, I apologize for any inconvenience. Uh... You just do what you have to do, and uh, you just have a good one, alright? Oh, wait a minute.
before I go, I just need to check something really quickly. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, sir, is there a reason your bike has no plate on it? Uh, You're not yeah. intending on driving it, are you? Like I'm sorry? I was at the mechanic, but he said he can't install a plate on it. Okay. Well, since I've not seen you... Even though... Okay, so how did it get here? In this driveway? He drives to into it. Okay. Well, even though you're saying you drove into it... Delivered from Japanese. Alright. Well, even though that this vehicle clearly was unworldworthy, it is right now, and it's been driving here by illegal means since you, I've not seen you driving it, uh, I'm just gonna leave that on a note. I do not want to see that bike moving anywhere on these streets since it has no plate, no registration. I understand that, sir, but the thing is, you cannot drive down the streets, and if we do see you, we will pull you over. Alright? It is an unroadworthy vehicle by law. It is unroadworthy. If it does not have any registration, we don't know who it is. That vehicle is not licensed to be on the road. Alright? I was trying to get a plate on this motorbike. Well, sir, you're going to have to do that from home. You're going to have to order one for the DMV. Sir, you're going to have to go down to the DMV. They're going to check out your name. Then they're going to give you a plate, and you have to tell them your VIN of the bike. They'll issue you a plate in the mail within six months, and then you can put it on there, and then you're free to drive it. Until then, you're not allowed to drive this bike, because if I see you, it is an unroadworthy vehicle because it's missing a plate, alright? That is the end of the story. I don't want to see you moving it, and let's not make any more trouble, alright? You have a good day, sir. Hello, this is 911. How may I help you? Is this the emergency? Uh, correct. I got some issue here, some fucking asshole is throwing... Rocks into my window. Okay, uh, could you please give me a postal and location on that? Oh. He's knocking on my doors. Okay, can you please describe the person for me? Yeah, he has black jacket, black shirt. Okay, can you give me a race? I heard some motorbike. Hair color, anything like that? So we can have our officers help? Blonde. Blonde hair, white, Caucasian, black. Okay, can you give me a postal code or an address from where this is happening at, ma'am? 660. 660, copy that. Alright, uh, ma'am, we'll have some officers down there. Uh, just to clarify, you said it is a black jacket, black shirt, white male, Caucasian, blonde hair? Yeah. Alright, thank King 5. Let's be advised. We've got a 911 call saying that there is a person damaging personal property, throwing rocks at a resident's window. It's going to be a postal code 660. I'm Charlie 88, I am really allowed to have stuff. I'm just 1728, I am 1025. King 5, I think I'm 1023 as well. Yeah, I've seen this person earlier. There was a 911 call regarding him, but we couldn't confirm because the description wasn't given, but he's back and this is not his house. Oh. Hey, officers, what's up? All right, we got another 911 call. This one, it was confirming your appearance. Uh, black, black jacket, black uh, shirt, blonde hair. They said that you were throwing rocks. All right. Well, how about you step aside from the window, and we're gonna make sure. All right. All right. I'm gonna look at the window real quick. See if I see any damage. It's kind of hard to tell. Rocks are pretty small. Yep. Okay. So there are rock. There are. Dents in the window, there's dents in the gloss that are results of rocks that were being thrown. It's really hard to see them, but they're kind of there. Alright. Alright, sir, if you can come with me to my cruiser, please. Uh, we got another person over here. We got a... We got a call saying hey, you're... What you looking at? Vandalizing property. Take it out. Sir, you can record as much as you want to. Just make sure you're ten feet away from this. This is a, currently a scene. Thank you. Make, oh, don't stand in the middle of the road, please. Get out of the middle of the road. Alright. So, I, I have seen you earlier today, but as per protocol, I need to get some identification. Again? Yeah, it's protocol. Alright, confirm the name, please. David Jones. David Jones, alright. Stand by. 2729 David Jones. Okay, you haven't had any priors since the time I talked to you, which is good, you're staying out of trouble. Alright, sir, we got a we got a plate in that bike, that's good, because last time you didn't. Yeah, I had to go for my mate. Alright, sir. So, since the other house was your house, what are you doing on this property? Uh, 
I'm trying to get some money. Money from whom? From this guy. He is here. The guy? Okay. Yeah. How are you affiliated with the person? He owes me like $50,000. $50,000, so you're going about it, getting money from him by throwing rocks? If anything, he'll come after you with restitution, he'll sue you, and he'll definitely get some money out of you. Because you're abandoning it. Something on his door. And you were throwing rocks at his window. Yeah, I just That's not a civil way to do it, that's vandalism, you can't do that. Alright? So I'm gonna go assess the damage. I'm gonna go assess the damage, right? And depending on how severe it is, uh, I will fine you, or we will take you, depending on how much damage has been caused. We will also ask the owner if he wants to seek restitution in that window, which most likely he will. Uh, I don't know if he's home or not. Uh, 22, did you get a 28 return on that plate? I'm going to go assess the damage. Don't move. Oh, we got a witness here. I'm going to see if he knows anything. Actually. All right. About $40 of damage in there. Just a few quick fixes. All right, sir, are you still there? Huh? All right, sit tight with me. I'm going to ask this person over here. There seems to be a witness. He was here when I got here. Do not move. Hello. Hey. All right, so we got a call saying that there were, uh, there's a man throwing rocks somewhere. Did you happen by any chance to witness anything along those lines? I saw that man over there kick down, try to kick down. Try to kick down a door or a window? I couldn't hear you. The door. A door, all right. Did you see him by any chance throwing rocks? I saw that too. Alright, uh, if you could for me, uh, just so we could refer to you later on, do you mind giving me your name and contact information, as you could be a vital asset if this does go to court. Alright, I appreciate that. Let me write it down there, just give it to you. Todd Smith. Todd Smith, alright, thank you, sir. Alright, I appreciate that information, you're helping us a lot. Uh, again, this will go to court, he is going to get cited because it's only $40 of damage, but if he does fight this in court, you can definitely come up up here, um, but... I appreciate right, your co sir. compliance with us. Here you are. I want you to sign this piece of paper. This is a citation form for a vandal charge. This is not an admission of guilt. This is just to prove you were present here. Um, you will have the option to fight this in court. All the instructions are on the back. Currently, you are being cited $50 in restitution, um, plus any other sort of court payments for attorneys you may have when fighting this ticket. Uh, you can always pay it down to the 5th Los Santos DCA if you don't want to fight it at all. Who understands what I've just told you? All right, sir, so this will be going on your so-called clean wet record so just sign that right there that'll be my copy and sign this right here it'll be yours all right sir please stay out of trouble i want you to leave the property uh before we leave i will make sure we will make sure that you do leave the property so that way there is no other issue again the homeowner will ask for restitution um which is in the form of citation as well all right keep up control Uh, show me at the initiating, I'll be 1076 with two bikers going westbound Eclipse. It's going to be two bikers, white Caucasian male. It's going to be uh, lane splitting at this time, stand by. I think I've got 132 already attempting a 1011. Copy that. King 5, possible 1080 at this time. King 5, lost visual. King for control. I'm gonna be uh, 1073 with the other contact. Uh, it's the person who was running from me. I'm requesting a 32. It's gonna be south of Madraza's mansion. It's gonna be Cavalry Road, Dirt Road. I'm requesting 32s at this time. Respond uh, code three, preferably, please. Southbound on that road. Sir, put your hands up. Put your hands up. Sir, behind the bounding. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Get out from around that stilt. Get around the stilt. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. That's what I want. 
Get out from the stilter. We will come around there with force. Get out from around the stilt. Get out. Hands up now. Get out from around the stilt or we'll get around it ourselves. Put your hands up! Walk out and face away from us. Walk out and face away. Walk to the sound of our voice now. Keep coming. Yep, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep going. You're clear. Keep going until I say tell you to stop. Copy. Stop right there. Take, stop. 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 Go forward four paces. Keep going. Uh, Charlie, I want to do the uh, ten eighteen on him. I go to six. Ten Stay right there, sir. We got an officer about to push you in cuffs. All right. Yeah, I'm asking you the same thing. Uh, we were about to, we were trying to pull over you and your buddy back there, and I'm assuming you know who he is because you blokes were lane splitting back there and just going in oncoming lanes. And then you took One off. Of you guys, I don't know your friend. You you know him, of course, which we'll ask about that later. Uh, he pulled over just well. You kept taking off. I lost you. You were just gone like the wind. You don't have a name. All right, I'm gonna pull you out of the vehicle. So we're gonna get you out of the vehicle. Alright, face the car right here. Alright, you have anything on you that's gonna put me, stick me, harm me? Actually, uh, 22, can you do this? You've got gloves. King 5 control. We've got one 1018. Uh, no 32s required. I'm requesting a 1028. 25, William, Orion, William, 945. 10 4 control. Alright, sir, at this time you are being placed under arrest for eluding and felony evasion. Um, since you have told us the truth, uh, you are driving an unregistered vehicle. That is another charge as well. That is a misdemeanor, and the other is a felony. So you're being charged on one count of felony eluding, and the other count of operating a vehicle without registration. With that said, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you can, everything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot inform him, will be appointed by the district attorney's office at the 5th DCA of Los Santos. Do you understand the rights I've just read to you? 